Hello, my name is Benny. I'm a photographer and I was in the Navy. And I've traveled quite a bit since I've been out of the Navy and I just so happened to be in New Mexico in a four horse town and there was an antique shop there. And I walked into this antique shop. Usually antique shops are not so much antique shops, like just a bunch of stuff from the 80s, but this one's a legit antique shop. And usually if you go to these small towns and there's an antique shop, usually get a gold mine and this was just like that um, there's all kinds of old war memorabilia there was a little old lady she ran the place and she didn't pay me any attention I was the only person in the store and I was looking through these bayonets they had and all you know, the old World War II helmets and all kinds of war stuff I look over and there's this wooden crate and it had these packages of photos in them and there was a sign next to the the crate and said don't open the packages. So you could see the front picture and they all looked pretty cool. It looked old, vintage, dark room photos. And uh, I was trying to kind of like sneak and sneak a peek and see what I was getting, but they were really expensive. Each package was like 15 to $20. So I decided to pick one up just to see what would happen. And to my surprise, there were some really interesting photos, like special operations stuff. And I think that some of these photos are pretty important, so I wanted to show them to you. All right, so the first three are going to be honorable mention. Um, yeah, so here we go. This first, this first honorable mention. This is a Marine helicopter dropping off the howitzer here. And on the back, you can tell they're official Navy photos. And I have a couple more of these uh, prior to this purchase. I, I, I bought some off of an old uh, retired... Navy photographer and uh, but yeah so they have they stamp them and they give all the information as far as like you know where they were taken who you know like for the for instance this one with the photographer was ph1 ph1 james a davidson and then it gives you a full like breakdown republic of the philippines marine medium helicopter and it tells you about the exercise you know so that so that was that one this one's not that cool i just thought it was kind of neat but this, these all came out of one package. So here's another one. This one didn't have much on the back. But it's honorable mention. And uh, so this was taken in Australia. And then this one didn't have anything on the back. No markings. And it looks like it's a copy of a photo. So, but nonetheless, it's kind of cool. Uh, guys there. And then here's another one that didn't have much. This is all I had here. And then there's a, you know, a Navy captain giving a Marine some sort of citation or award. All right, so here's the meat and potatoes of them. These are the ones I thought were really cool. And uh, I'll read these out in full detail. This one's not great, but um, it's interesting. So this is a collage. A collage here. And you can see... There's uh, landing craft units, utility, landing craft utility, LCU, and that's from assault craft unit one or assault craft unit three, just on the East Coast, but I'll read it. So it says the photographer was Grant. So I tried to look up some of these photographers and I found a couple of them, but uh, like this one, just Grant. This was in 1974, collage of uh, pictures taken of Operation Kangaroo, which is a joint testing all phases of Allied naval tactics by Australia, New Zealand, United Kingdom, and U.S. So that was all right. My second one here, tanks. I like this one. Uh, you can see how big the shells are here. And you see there's a tank up here on the hill. And I'll read it. Um, M60 A1 tanks from the 2nd Tank Battalion attached to the Battalion Landing Team, 3rd Battalion. Um, during It was a training exercise at Vizquez, Puerto Rico. And this was taken by A.L. Colon in uh, June of 1976. So, training exercise in Puerto Rico, not too bad. I bet you they had a good time out there. So, pretty cool. Alright, this one was awesome. This is a guy in a ghillie suit. Looks like a sniper. This is a sniper rifle. It's got a scope. And I'll read it. This is Corporal Scott F. Mulholland. 
He's camouflaged to prevent enemy detection. He's participating in Solid Shield 81, a joint training exercise conducted by Sinclant involving more than 2,700 men and women from all U.S. military services. So what was neat about this one, I did some research, the Navy photo by PH2, C.W. Griffin. So I looked him up, and this guy's like an award-winning photographer. So I made this copy, and I sent it to him. I found him on Instagram, and I sent it to him. This is a, a I mean, this is real ink here. So I sent it to him. I, I don't know if he wanted it or not, but yeah, pretty neat. All right, let's look at the next one. All right, look at that guy. He looks pretty tired, right? This one says, with over 100 pounds of equipment strapped to him, a 1st Battalion Ranger, 75th Infantry, uh, patiently waits to board a C-123 aircraft for a night jump over Fort Stewart, October 1977. And this is uh, a photo by U.S. Army Barry Sikora, unclassified. So, pretty cool. 1977, dude's pretty tired. Getting ready to jump. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Rangers. Go Rangers. All right. This was kind of cool. Um, Hawaii. Right here. And these, I think they call them AAVs. Or some version of them. They spit out of the back of warship well decks, you know. And then they go from like the sea to land. Or the sea to land tank. Uh, notoriously dangerous for sinking. And uh, so you're, yes, yeah, so this is what this one says. Photographer PH1 Carl R. Beggy, a Hawaii Molokai, a track personnel landing vehicle, 7th LVTP7 of 3rd Marines M Track Company from Marine Corps Air Station, Kenoe. And this was at, during a training exercise. So these guys are just doing a little training. Pretty neat. All right, so this is my first Navy SEAL one. Uh, this is pretty funny. Navy SEALs here. These guys. Tip of the spear. And this was taken by J01 CML Hubler. I tried to look him up, couldn't find him. Coronado, California, SEALs in camouflage clothing demonstrate their skill during bicentennial activity in a park. So, yeah, that's the background of it. And uh, what's kind of funny about this one, I thought, was the muzzle discipline. <laughs> so, this guy's point one. It looks like maybe a little bit away from this guy, this kid here. But this guy's definitely pointing his muzzle towards the crowd. <laughs> so, muzzle discipline wasn't uh, too, too much of a concern for these guys during this exercise. But, uh, kind of funny. And this guy's reaction looks like uh, he's pretty enamored by the whole situation. Kind of funny. Here's the next one. What I like about so here, I'll just point it here. So this one is uh, Lieutenant Commander Joe Mancius Jr. And um, Atlantic Ocean U.S. Marines apply green grease paint for camouflage as they prepare to depart amphibious assault ship USS Guadalcanal LPH seven during Operation Solid Shield. So this is a this is just an operation, um, you know, a training exercise. Big time training exercise. So they ramp up after your like your workups and stuff. You might do a, a big training exercise with other com uh, countries or you know foreign allies. And this is what they're doing. What I really like about this is how young this kid looks, you know. And he's looking, he's looking at this guy who's probably a father figure. I mean that's what I'm guessing. He looks like a father figure. So he, the photographer here, Mancius, really captured the the um, the moment. I think. This is pretty much military. You got a lot of kids that come in. They might not have, you know, um, a father or male figure in their life, and they look for that in the military. So it's real important for leadership to be tight and right for these kids. So, you know, they can kind of groom them to be men. And that's what's going on here. So I like that one. This is all just one package. I, I'm so pissed. When I open this up, I'm like, should I go buy and buy the rest of them, you know? Anyway. Here's the next one. All right, so this is South China Sea, 
track landing vehicles, LVT, travel in, in formation toward the beach of Barrier Island during Operation Daring Rebel. And this was taken by PH1 William Galligan. I looked up him, I couldn't find him, Navy photographer. So, yeah, that one's kind of cool. I, what I like about this one is, uh, I think these barrels are kind of like, I think they're probably loaded up with gas, you know, so they can travel long distances and siphon gas and keep going, you know, so I like that. And the water looks pretty cool. It looks like pretty glassy water. All right, next one. All right, so this is, this one at first didn't really appeal to me, but the more I looked at it, it became pretty cool. And uh, this one doesn't have, a, it says photographer UNK. And this is views from a Navy P-3C Orion aircraft at 20,000 feet and about 15 nautical miles from the impact point of a C C4 Trident re-entry body. Photograph is a multiple ballistic exposure, about 25 seconds each exposure. Dark object at the right is the aircraft wing. And then um, short light streaks are equipment. This is probably an officer who's writing this. He's probably showing this to like in a meeting or a brief. So he, they really go deep in, on to this one. I, th I think it's pretty cool. Whoever's below this is getting lit up. So kind of neat. All right. I, I like this one. This is crazy. How, how old do you think this kid is? I don't know. 17, 18, you know? So photographer... James Randall, and I looked up James Randall, couldn't find him. This is the Mekong Delta, Republic of Vietnam. A Navy SEAL camouflage the face of a buddy with colored grease paint in preparation for search and destroy operation. The platoon will break into small groups to comb the jungle for Viet Cong. So imagine this, you know, this is your son or your, your little brother, 18, 19, putting on face paint to go take on the Viet Cong. That's pretty intense. So, this is legit. This is a real, real photo here. So, so the last one, 1967. So, that's, that's in the thick of the Vietnam War. You know, it just kind of gives you an idea of what, you know, kids get out of high school and they're chasing around Viet Cong. It's pretty scary. All right. This one's cool. You've all seen this a bunch of times in your life, I'm sure. Photographer unknown. All right, so this one's in 1974. Roosevelt Roads, Puerto Rico. Navy SEAL team members engage in inflatable boat exercise in the breakers of Laguillo Beach. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know if they're doing that for like a show, but that doesn't seem like something they'd be doing for fun. <laughs> Maybe they're in trouble. I don't know. Uh, okay, here's the next one. This is cool too. You all know this. You've seen this a bunch of times in movies and TV and YouTube. Guys climbing under barbed wire. And this was taken in 1977. So the last POW taken out of Vietnam was in 1979. Just to give you some, uh, some scope here. So the photographer was J.C. Huddleston. Couldn't find him. Naval Amphibious Base Coronado, San Diego, California. Men crawl under barbed wire during their 23 weeks of instruction to buds. And, uh, yeah. Guys, it looks like he's pretty pissed off. All right, here we go. More Navy SEAL stuff. This was in 1974. Roosevelt Roads, Puerto Rico. Parachutists cross in the... Um, the photographer is Jay Johnson. Now, I looked up Jay Johnson. There's a million Jay Johnsons, but this guy kind of fit the bill on it. So here we go. Puerto Rico. Um, they're boarding a helicopter, which will take them to the jump area. German Naval Commandos and U.S. Navy SEAL Team personnel are training. So that's that one. Pretty neat. I like this one because it really shows. <laughs> shows those boys are... Getting their nuts squashed by that harness there. Um, jumping off with their swim gear. So, yeah. Next one. This one 
is is pretty interesting. These are seals as well. This looks like a landing craft utility, and you know the seals are the. What I'm guessing is this is probably a PBR, a patrol boat from Assault Craft Unit One, and you got some navy. I'm guessing this dude with the cigarettes probably might be navy. Uh, I don't know if maybe maybe not, but here's the uh, the guy driving the boat I think, and here's a bunch of Navy SEALs. So I'll read it here. This one had an unknown photographer, public of Vietnam, members of a U.S. Navy Sea, Air, and Land team board a river patrol boat for transportation to an operation site, and I don't know if this one had a date on it. Oh, 1968. So. In the thick of Vietnam. This one's not so photographically impressive, but uh, I think tactically impressive. So here you go. This is the jungle of Vietnam, and then you have, uh, you know, a Navy patrol boat here. I don't know who's operating that one. That one I I'm not so sure of. I I don't think I've ever seen one just like that. So. But anyway, this is what it says. It was taken in 1968 as well. This is Republic of Vietnam, a PBR beaches to insert members of a U.S. Navy SEAL team. So there they are. Pretty neat. All right, we got, we got the final two. These are the two best. All right, we got an explosion. You got a 50 cal. Explosion here. This was in 1967, September, Mekong Delta, Republic of Vietnam, from a converted Mike boat, which has picked them up following a search and destroy operation. Navy SEALs watched the detonation of a satchel charge. They said to destroy a Viet Cong bunker. So, pretty cool. It's a good shot. So, the photographer here is J01 Randall. So, I looked him up. I couldn't find J01 Randall. But yeah. All right. So here's the last one. This is my favorite of all time. I'm going to, this one's going to be in my archives forever, hopefully. Unless uh, there's a Navy SEAL who knows this guy and wants it. I'll give it to him or her or whoever. Whoever. If anybody wants this and knows this person, they can have it. I don't know if anybody can identify this guy. This is a really unique. Amazing photo, wonderful capture, his eyes. What's interesting about this photo is just, I mean, obviously the monkey on his shoulder, but I mean, you could see the, um, this man's face, it looks like it's been through war and same with his eyes, right? And uh, he's got a cool mustache, you know? So I really like this one. Anyway, here's what it says. This was taken in 1968. And by a, a YN2, so a yeoman, a yeoman is an administrative guy, a girl, and well at the time it was a guy, it's H.E. Stramler, couldn't find him, and uh, this is in the Mekong Delta, Republic of Vietnam, a U.S. Navy SEAL team member gives his pet monkey a ride on his shoulder, that's what it says on the back, so pretty simple, but very impactful, and I really like it, so I looked, to, I'm probably going to hang this somewhere, uh, in an office or something, unless, again, unless somebody wants this, and then, or, you know, if there's some sort of personal connection you have with this one, or the SEALs want it, I'll give it to them, but, yeah, so that's it, a cool little package of photos, <laughs> if I ever get back to that place in New Mexico, that's why I'm not telling you where it is, uh, I'm gonna go scoop up all of them, and then maybe I can do another one of these videos, but, yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you liked that video. Thank you.